guys and welcome back. In today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to do this quick and easy acne coverage date night makeup look. They always have long names. What is that all about? The majority of the products in this look are drugstore, which makes it super affordable. I think the most expensive product that I used was the mascara and one of the concealers, but you don't have to use those. You can use a dupe instead. I really hope you enjoy this look. Let me know in the comments. I'll see you soon. Bye. For foundation, I'm going to be using NYX Studio Photogenic Foundation. It's really dewy when you first put it on, um, but I find that the more you work it in, um, the better the finish. Building it up gradually is the best option for this one. Um, you don't want to go too hard at the beginning, so just take it slowly. For concealer, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Paris Perfect Match Concealer. So this one is a super yellow concealer and that's going to brighten up under the eyes. And I'm also going to put that on the acne areas as well. But I'm just dabbing that on to everywhere that needs it and in this instance that is pretty much my whole face. I'm just going to pat my concealer in now just to try and get an even application where I need it the most. I'm going to use the Last Imperfection Ultimate Wear Concealer in Fair. Just going to hit those spots. Next I'm going to use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I'm just going to apply this under my eyes where I'm prone to the most amount of bags. I'm also going to put some on my chin, make you a down my nose and my forehead. Next I'm going to set that and I'm going to use my Ben Nye Natural Set Powder. Let's move on to our contour and I am going to be using the Heroin eyeshadow to do this. And I'm just concentrating in the hollows of my cheeks. This brush is a little bit too big to be doing this but you know, whatever. I like to live dangerously. I'm also going to contour down the sides of my nose. You don't have to do this, but I kind of like doing it. I'm going to use the Me 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 Beat the Blues Pill Pink Highlighter. Apply that to my temples, nose. Cupid's bow. I'm going to bring that up under my eyebrow as well. For blush today, I'm going to be using a really old favourite that I actually haven't used in quite a while, so I thought I'd bring it back. And I'm going to be using the Sleek Rose Gold. Now, this blush was like the blush to have like last year, wasn't it? I feel like I forgot how much I like this blush. And I feel like now I need to use this blush a lot more. With our base and our blush and our contour and highlight done, let's move on to the brows. For my brows, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in medium brown. For an eyeshadow base, I'm going to be using the Illamasqua eyeshadow in Justify. And I'm taking this on a Crown C441 Deluxe Blending Brush. I think this is Crown's version of a MAC 217. This colour is mainly to act as a transition colour. And it's also to give a really even base. I'm going to use the Bourjois Colour Band Eyeshadow Stick in Mauve Baroque on my lid. I'm going to use the same brush that we used for the transition shades to blend that out. I'm also going to take this colour under the eye as well on the lower lid. Next, I'm going to use the shade Gris Graffiti. Um, from the same bourgeois colour band range. 
just going to take that same brush and we're just going to blend that upwards. Just using really soft, gentle strokes to just push that up into the other shadows. I'm going to take it onto the outer edge of the lower lash. Again, I'm just going to use the same brush to just smooth it out. To line my eyes, I'm going to use the Pixie Endless Silky Eye Pen in Glimmery Black. This is a metallic black shade. You don't have to use a metallic black, but I'm kind of liking the shimmery theme we've got going on here, so I'm going to carry on using shimmers. I'm going to take my Collection Extreme Felt Liner, which is one of my Holy Grail products, and I'm just going to add a mini wing on that just to lift and open my eye. And I'm going to take the Kiko Long Lasting Stick Eyeshadow in shade 7 and I'm going to add this into the corners of my eye. I'm going to add a single coat of the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. For lashes I'm going to be going to my favourite lashes of all time, the Demi Whispies Black Lashes. The Lip Voltage, the Powerhouse Lip Plumper. I can just take any foundation off my lips and they'll be on there. One coat, one coat of this. Ah, ah, feel wet on my tongue. I'm just going to wipe that off using a wet wipe because I've had enough. <laughs> I look ridiculous. I think they're definitely bigger. Now I'm just going to go and just go around the edges just to make sure there's no ridiculous pink bits. That's a bit better. For the lips, I'm going to be using one of my favourite lip products at the moment and that is the Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker Gloss Crayon in Bashful. To give it that extra wow factor, I'm going to apply the Me 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 Light Me Up High Shine Lip Gloss. And here's the finished look. So thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and of course don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Bye guys!